Shalom, Brock Dai Hawa, Brock Dai Hawa Shai, Brock Dai Hawa, Brock Dai Hawa Shai, Brock Dai Hawa, Brock Dai Hawa Shai, Yahawa Shai, Brock Dai Hawa, Brock Dai Hawa Shai, all praise and glory to Yahawa Bashim Yahawa Shai, double honors to the elder apostles of Great Millstone, the leaders of all Israel today. Uh, salutations to you, Akim, who are teaching this truth in all truth and sincerity, uh, risking your lives and freedoms to do so. Um, this is a quick scripture of the day. Uh, with, uh, in the book of Isaiah 66, uh, verse 15 through 16. And I'm quickly uh, do this uh, video right quick. And, um, you know, I'm just going to go in and, and break it down right quick and just get it over with. <laughs> uh, this is Isaiah 66 and 15. Um, For behold, the Lord will come with fire and with his chariots like a whirlwind uh, to render his anger with fury and his rebuke with flames of fire. So, um, I'm going to talk about briefly, uh, about the, um, covenant. I'm just going to say briefly about the covenant between, uh, Noah and Yahweh. Um, the covenant was, um, that the Lord wouldn't just, wouldn't uh, flood the earth no more. And the rainbow is symbolic of, um, that covenant between Noah and Yahweh, which it's um basically it's basically uh it's basically like what what what's the word a a it's like a um a slap to the face to the Most High Yahweh when the Sodomites put that as their symbol um, for their, you know, organization, the the LGBT community. That's like a slap. That that is a slap. That's not like a slap. That is a slap to the Most High Yahweh. Um, that that's just a stain. Basically, that's just a disrespect to the covenant. They had with Mo with Noah, uh, uh, Salakia with Noah. They had with Noah. That's that that's a big disrespect against uh, the covenant with Noah. It's also a big disrespect to the heavenly Father because that um, that 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 rainbow is symbolic to him not flooding the earth no more, and to him not destroying the uh, people on earth no more with water and uh, to get back to the scripture is um, he's going to come uh, this time the the most high um, the heavenly father is going to basically he's not going to well he's going to send fire on the earth and he's going to burn up Babylon which this is Babylon, uh, America is Babylon, and it, it's Egypt, it's Rome, it, it's all these kingdoms rolling into one. He's going to destroy this place off the earth completely uh, with fire, because this land needs to be cleansed with fire, because there's so much blood that was spilled here that this place needs to be cleansed with fire. It needs to be burned. It needs to be completely eradicated off the earth. That's what it needs to happen to this place. And, uh, you know, so when Yahushua comes back for a second coming, he's going to come on the biggest chariot that's going to cover the sky, the biggest uh, chariot, and then the angels are going to come with chariots, and they're going to be, they're going to cover the sky also. And then they're going, then the nuclear missiles are going to drop and uh, right at that um, moment when they drop the elect are going to be beamed up 
into the chariots. Uh, the one third are going to be beamed up with the elect, which the one third are part of the one forty are part of the elect. Um, or they 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 get um, a a um, a chance to get on the chariots with the elect, um, and uh, and once they on the chariot and they're uh, beamed up and watching the uh, event go down where America is is bombed, uh, nu nuclear missiles are dropped here and hit and dropped. Uh, on other parts of the uh, earth and then uh, they're watching it uh, they're watching it and um, and they're watching that and then uh, you know after after that that America is destroyed the kingdom uh, will be uh um, will come down. They'll come. Uh, the elect will come down off the chariots, and then um, uh, will they'll be uh, the kingdom will definitely be uh, you know starting. But you know, once you meet, once the elect meet Yah Shai in the air, you know they'll be forever with the Lord. You know, but. Uh, what I was, but yeah, but in the chariots, uh, they have laser beams. That's what I was trying to get to. In the chariots, they got laser beams, and with the the nuclear missiles being dropped on America and on other parts of the earth, like I I believe it's gonna be dropped in Europe. I believe China's gonna get hit. I believe Russia's gonna get hit. I believe all these countries that are gonna send missiles over here are gonna get hit by missiles anyway. So. Um. Anyway, for me, Salaki for my my rambling. But anyway, uh, the laser beams from chariots is going to increase the fire over here, and that's what's going to make um that fire um be magnified. That's going to turn this entire uh continent, this entire uh continent into into a desert. It's going to burn up um, the waters, the the, the vegetation. Um, you're not even gonna know where Detroit and Chicago meet. You're not even gonna know where, cause some some states you know where the state line is, but you're not gonna even know where the state line is in certain areas of the state. And uh, and that's how the Lord is gonna plead. With all flesh by fire, and it's gonna be many um, slain, um, and it's gonna be um, blood up to the horse's rider, which that's up to the horse's neck. So I hope this is edifying, and I wish I could um, elaborate more and. Um, <laughs> so lucky for my rambling I hope this is an edifying video and I would like to say double honors to the elder apostles of great millstone and salutation to you Akim, teaching in all truth and sincerity and I'm going to say Shalom and this is your brother Shaquatia from GMS Suburban Knowledge GMS Chicago and I'm going to say Shalom to you Akim, and elders um